Is it actually possible to get invaded in this place? I mean, I would assume there would be no reason. Let me actually use some of these souls. Like, I doubt this would be somewhere that people would hang around. It's not like people, you know, there's a ton of foot traffic in this area. Versus the places that I have been getting invaded at. But I just wonder if it's even possible for that to happen. So this should be easy. I should just have to run in here, run in the path, and then I'll go straight towards Miss... Goddamn benches. Straight towards Priscilla. Poor Priscilla. She ain't doing nobody no harm, and yet still people just gotta kill her non-stop. I need her soul. I need her soul for the scythe, and I would like to get her tail dagger as well. Ah, that's why I didn't see it. Tricksy little bitches. Yay. Rar? <gasps> that was an awkward screech. Wow, these dudes came over here with a quickness. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. I've never done anything to hurt you. Ignore the fact that I killed y'all last time. I never I did not mean it. Hey, look at that! It's a blood stain. Ow! How did you miss? How did that miss? Cool. I 100% completely deserved everything that just happened right there. Unquestionably deserved everything that happened right there. Dark Souls, fair, balanced, just like Fox News. Fuckers. I cannot believe that happened. That's bull- that was bullshit. Come on, frame rate. You can handle it. What the fuck? Alright, so next time I'm booking it behind those dudes. Like, I'm not gonna try to stay in front and attack. Because I don't want to, dude. Because I don't want to get ambushed from behind by the giant Black Knight dude. That would make me a little sad. So do they start, they do start showing up before, I, I thought they, for some reason, or I'm not going to get past these dudes, whatever, fuck it. Black Knight, Black Knight, I hear him, he's there, he is not there at all. What the fuck did I hear then? <laughs> what did I just get scared of? Oh god. Wow, I actually interrupted his heal. That's cool. I would not have expected to be able to uh, stagger him like that, but that's cool. I'll take it. I can't complain. Now I gotta kill poor old Priscilla. She ain't doing nobody no harm. She don't even attack you, man. She's just chilling. It's like, hey, how are you? I don't know why you're here, but you can you can leave freely. See, watch. She's just like, hey, you can go. You want? Who art thou? One of us thou art not. If thou hast misstepped into this world, Plunge down from the plank and hurry home. If thou seekest I, thine desires shall be requited not. She cute too. Thou must return. She a big cutie. This land is I beg of thee. Thou must return. I don't I I don't know how to hit that girl's tail. I don't I the only time I've ever successfully managed to cut her tail off was with shit. 
Where is she? Oh fuck, I just ran into her. Shit! The only time I've successfully managed to hit her tail. That was risky. The only time I managed to successfully cut off her tail, I should say. Was when I uh, one shot it off. Yeah, I can't. I cannot get that tail. I one shot it off with the Black Knight Greatsword once. That is the only time I have ever successfully managed to cut off Priscilla's tail. I have no idea how specific you have to be to actually manage to take it off. It's ridiculous. It's very difficult. I don't know. Because obviously it doesn't exactly present much of a target. And I feel like actually with the Great Scythe. It's a uh, really large downward swing actually hinders it from cutting off her tail. Because, like, the point of weapons is that, um, obviously they don't want, like, every single bit of swing to trigger an attack, right? So, the first thing, the first part of their hurt box that your weapon hits is going to be, uh, what triggers the attack. So, I kind of feel like, with the Great Scythe, I might be hitting like above the tail first like part of her main body and so then like even though i am technically hitting the tail i'm not really hitting the tail thus not managing to trigger uh the tail cut stuff why did you have to miss? i don't even know why i'm bothering when i got power within going why i'm bothering two-handing it damn it all i want for christmas is a painted dragon sword painted guardian sword not painted dragon sword Oh, I should. Yes! Never mind. I was gonna say, oh, I guess if I want that, I should be uh, grabbing. Oh, God. I should be equipping the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring. But never mind. It don't matter no more, bitch. Oh, that's right. You, my bitch. So now I can go get the Life Hunt Scythe. And then later on, I'll equip. Um. Once I get teleportation, really, that's what matters. Once I get teleportation and have easy access, I will go all the way back to where the gargoyles are, where the bell gargoyles were. And going there allows me to buy the blood steel ring, I think it's called. Blood bite ring, maybe? I think it's blood bite, actually. Which will further increase my resistance to bleeding, which should help me quite a bit when using the life on scythe. That'll basically allow me to uh, stay safe and not, you know, constantly trigger bleeding on myself and basically end up killing myself. Because that would be sad. Apparently, I like playing characters that try to commit suicide. Kotalkan with his whole blood thing. Oh, and it has to do with blood, too. Coincidence? I think not! God, when is the Incredible sequel supposed to come out? I want that so much. The Incredibles was such a good movie. She's down! I'm glad that killed. Because that could have gone south real quickly if that hadn't killed. I should have rested at a bonfire first. Oh, I'm actually thinking I'm going to knock him off right here. Nope, not quite. Kind of, sort of, but not quite. Let me see if I can do this one-handed. If I can kill him one-handed. It's like, yoink, and then, well, not now. Excellent! All of this is going precisely as planned, exactly as desired. Because, yeah, the last thing I would want to do is end up dying around here and have to go all the way back to, uh, go all the way back through the painted world. So let's go ahead and grab the life on scythe. Here we go! Ah, oh, shit. Maybe not. I, it'll be... I just won't be able to use it on the way back. That'll be fine. Alright, so... What do you use, Life on Scythe? Actually, I think it uses... Oh, no, it doesn't. No, it's Priscilla's dagger that uses dragon. Because I was thinking, because it came from Priscilla, that it needed dragon scales to improve. Wow, I was able to get it to plus four. That's not bad. Actually, if I go and kill that stuff back in Sin's Fortress. So actually, what's the scaling? See, that's why it's worse. 
than the actual it's the scaling it's because like i mean it's basically again i think I, I can't remember i know i've said this but i don't know where slash when um but basically let me go down and grab no not you oh shit i have no titanite shards how many do i need for i think i need nine right i think i need nine to fully upgrade something one one two two three does that equal nine i don't know it's such complicated mathematics actually i won't be able to and i can't modify here son of a bitch Oh, okay, I completely forgot that existed. So actually, yeah, if I really end up not liking the life on Scythe, I forgot you can revert it. I completely... That just slipped my mind entirely. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow, look at that bleeding resistance, though. Did the bleeding resistance go up? That must have... That must have happened. The bleeding resistance must have increased. It doesn't even tell, though. There's no, like... Yeah, there's no, uh, doesn't tell you how much something resists, like the various, um, god, what are they called, afflictions, Jesus, I'm smart, but yeah, so that must have gone up, so I guess increasing that also increases your resistance, which is fantastic, and then that'll also only continue to improve, um, as, so let me go ahead and equip Rakad's Rapia, I don't even think I'll, sh I'll need it. Because I've basically killed everything. And I just need to decide which uh, bonfire I want to use. Did I? I did not kindle that one, so I actually am going to go. No, that's too far. <laughs> it's too far away. Can't be bothered. Here's hoping I don't die to this dude. Wouldn't that be fucking perfect? Go through all this shit. And then I die to this motherfucker just trying to run by him to get to a bonfire. I will have to go through a couple of silver knights, though. Shouldn't be too difficult, hopefully. God damn. It just occurred to me. Like, if I got invaded right now and I lost, especially since I only have a card, a plus five or cards rapier, instead of a real weapon. Did that just, did that dude just swing at me from all the way down there? Oh, I did get invaded, son of a bitch. Well, isn't that a fucking bummer? I'm gonna get bodied. I'm just gonna have to backstab fish. Like, that's really all I can do. Like I'm doing right now, and I didn't get it. How much damage did that do? 279, it's not bad. I gotta be careful that I don't end up getting bodied while I'm trying to fight this guy. Oh, he's trying. Never mind, he's an honorable dude. Alright, cool. Here we go. Here we go. I'm scared. He's a halberd user. Oh, God. He's spinning to win. Wow, that did nothing. That did not go as planned. Ha! <laughs> wow, I am not poise breaking this guy at all. Does this thing not have either? He has some sort of effect to it. Yeah. That sucks. I tried to parry. That was, I mean, that was basically my only shot. Like, doing regular attacks did fucking nothing to this guy. So I had to, I had to try to parry. That was my only real shot. But so I need to check this shield out. I think, does it not have 100 resistance? Please don't put me all the way back in the paint. Oh, thank God. <laughs> well, let me, oops. No, it does. Okay, so his, he had some sort of, it looked like actually since I got set on fire at that very last moment. I'm assuming it had fi- oops. I need to human myself, actually. Nah. 
I'll wait until I get back to the other bonfire because I don't want to get invaded again. <laughs> Especially while I can't actually. Eh, whatever. I was gonna say like I could uh, use all my souls to get 16 strength, so then at least I can use the life hunt scythe. Because that actually would have been a dude that the life hunt scythe would have been really useful against the bleed damage. Because obviously I wasn't doing shit to him normally, so having that extra little bit of bleed there would have been pretty. I mean that could have been a game changer. Parrying timing though is definitely something that I need to work on. Because I kind of just, you know, I, I haven't practiced it a lot. Largely, it's kind of an, a, like a really unnecessary risk almost every time that it, you kind of put in a position for it. But, I mean, in PvP, that's kind of what a lot of people do. They just kind of fish. And since he was kind of just swinging, like he wasn't really... <laughs> didn't really seem to have much of a plan in regard to what he was doing. Just kind of, you know, spit that whole spin to win halberd thing. And it worked, obviously. It fucking killed me. I can't trash him for it. If he, if he won, he won. Pure and simple. But, um... That definitely would have been the spot where, like, at any point in time, ever, it was necessary to understand parry mechanics and when to do it. That would have been it, and it would have been the most useful at that time. I also could have actually... Oh, I don't have it. But I was going to say, because one of the uh, things that I've seen... Because I have watched some PvP videos. Not many. Because I'm not, like, terribly interested in it. But it's still... It, it is interesting. Like, it's fun to watch occasionally. And, uh... So, like, usually the best... Or, like, the top... The upper echelon of ability of people that PvP uh, will usually do that. Like, they'll get a parry. And the animation is long enough that it allows them to, um move to their equipment menu and equi unequip whatever ring they have at the moment and then equip the hornet ring which increases the damage of stuff like backstabs or parry or not parry reposts are they actually called reposts uh oh yeah look at that damage are you impressed with that damage you should be <laughs> oh no i missed my i missed it yeah made sense this guy's spinning the wind too oh come the fuck on actually I don't know why I'm looking for drops I've gotten every possible drop you go oh I completely forgot to check out what was that Oh no, that's just some. That's just that might be the Titanite demon, actually, maybe, possibly. <laughs> it just it kind of halfway sounded like an invasion sound, and I'm like, I'm not human. How am I getting invaded? But no, I think it was just the Titanite demon breathing. <gasps> Damn, got the damage output on this thing normally. Fuck. I mean, that's what they, that's what they're for. They're kind of like, oh, actually, you know what? You can guard while. Well, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, but that's kind of what they're for. They're like they're for counter poking and getting that kind of huge damage off of parries and backstabs. They're not really meant for you know particularly significant damage outside of that. So anyway, when we come back, we're gonna have Ornteen and Smoth. Smog. How the hell you pronounce that shit? And I will have the stats necessary to wield. Actually, I think that gives me enough. Nope! It sure didn't!